Hey guys, what's up? Windows 9. Windows has a really a history of just making good operating systems and bad operating systems. Windows 95 was good. Windows 98, bad. Windows, what was the next one? Windows 2000, that was good. And then Windows Min Millennium, have a little problem saying that word. Uh, it was bad. And then Windows XP, which is everyone's personal favorite, was good. Then you have Windows Vista. Oh. Oh my god, Windows Vista. For one, Windows Vista had really bad driver support. I mean, almost nothing worked in it. It was a slow and sluggish. And it, was just, it wasn't one of the best experiences for me. I had every time, every two months, I would have to reformat the drive and erase everything and then like reinstall Windows Vista to get the performance to go back up again. And then two months down, it gets sluggish, slow again, and I have to redo the same thing. I had Windows 7 for quite a while, and I was excited about Windows 8. I was excited about the marketplace, but they didn't bring it the way I envisioned it. Just like with the Apple uh, computers, where they have the, the App Store, where you can go in there, and you can basically uh, download any application in there. It was safe, and it, it, was, it was just overall better and a safe way to download uh, programs to your computer instead of having to browse the web and download something that might be malicious and infect your computer. It wasn't what I was expecting. And for that, them to come out and pull out Metro and remove the star button, it was crazy and I almost wanted to kill them for that. And now we have Microsoft Windows 9, which should be promising. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen the video. There's a video on there. Check the description below. And you'll be able to click on it and watch the video where the guy basically he shows off the start button. That's one of the biggest things to come back. I use start is back. I could not use Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 without start is back. It gives me back my traditional start button. No, it is. It's basically your start button. Not native with Windows, but it does work very, very, very well. And I could not use Windows 8.1 without it. I would go right back to Windows 7 and I would sit there. The only reason why I'm on Windows 8.1 is because really I get more performance in my games. But I basically have all the functionality as Windows 7. I, I have my gadgets and I have the start button. What else more could you want? And better performance? Hell yeah, I'm gonna take it. So that's my, that was, that was, that's basically my option. But also with Windows 9, what I'm really excited about Windows 9, not only are they bringing back the start button for other people, because guys, let's face it, 99.8 percent of the people out there they're not tech savvy they don't know they don't want to have to go into the web in the web and then have to look for a start button and then install it and then like configure it to their liking they don't want to do that they just want it to work a lot of people would return their computers and be like this is too confusing to use i don't understand the metro with the desktop and it's not tightly integrated they don't really work together they don't work together guys they really don't work together it was just confusing for a lot of people my biggest thing even though windows 9 will obviously offer better performance and bring back the start button i really wish they would have the option to completely disable the start screen even though we would start us back the program that i use in windows 8.1 actually removes the start screen so when i start up my computer i see the desktop i don't see the start screen and that's another thing about windows 9 it should feature darkx 12 which is the low level api well it is going to be a low level api it's going to be just like amd's mantle and you can have really good performance in games especially when with games that support darkx 12 in the future that's coming out and that's one of the reasons why also i'm going to go to windows 9. i'm definitely going to try the preview I'm going to possibly, if I can, install it. Okay, well, I don't have the hard drive right here at the moment, but I'm gonna install it on a separate hard drive. I'm not one, I don't like partitioning my drives anymore. I just don't really do it. I mean, hard drives are so cheap these days, I'll just, I'll just buy another one. I mean, honestly, I don't partition my drives. And if I do install another operating system, I make sure to unplug all my other hard drives because uh, I've had some issues in the past where the boot sector would get written to and now you'll have like double Windows 7 or, or, or double um, or you'll have the option to boot Ubuntu and Windows 8 or whatever and I hated that and that sucks. I unplug my drive all the time or, or disable them in the BIOS. So, yes. 
So there's a new picture online with the shroud of a graphics card. So it just might be the 390X or whatever they decide to call it because I mean, the naming schemes are horrible. AMD, your naming schemes are horrible and they're just really confusing. But this is definitely, the card is definitely be competing with their 900 series, the GTX 900 series. And you know, I like it, how they fight back and forth and all that stuff, so that's really cool. And I can't wait to see more images and, and, and benchmarks and, and whatnot. Even though they're gonna be rumors until they come out. But then, then again, AMD is gonna come out and they're gonna probably surpass the 900 series or be right on level with them. Either way, it's still good for the market. Uh, competition is very important. I keep stressing this all the time in every video mostly that I make. Competition is very, very important. So I'm definitely excited to see what is gonna be coming out with what AMD has to pack out there and hopefully they leap, is this something they always do, they always leapfrog each other. Uh, AMD comes out, the card is faster than AMD's card. AMD comes out, the card is faster than AMD's, uh, Nvidia's top card. So they keep leapfrogging each other and that's good. So uh, I'm definitely excited about that and I can't wait to see some benchmarks and some you know theoretical hypothetical uh, benchmarks uh, that, that comes out so and for when the card gets released and you know what in the end we as consumers we win they can fight all they want I really don't care we win in the end because the prices get dropped another car comes out to be in the middle or something like that and and the price gets dropped down and you get to get that car because it's cheaper and you win so I mean you can fight all you want doesn't matter which side you choose they're both pretty much there on the level of performance so Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you do enjoy the video, do leave a comment below and then what you think about all this stuff. And I will talk to you guys later.